Welcome! In this video, I will be giving you an in-depth look at my complete hiring system inside of Notion. This is an all-in-one system that tracks all your applications, interviews, candidate information, and even manage the job board view for your candidates. So it's basically a complete ATS applicant tracking system that lives 100% inside of Notion. By the way, I'm Jonathan, lead product manager in French startups, and I hired a lot of candidates with this system. And before we dive in, I will also mention that I've turned this entire system into a template. So if you want a complete done for you system that you can simply add to your Notion workspace and start using right away, the template is called Hiring OS and you can actually get it over at hiringosnotion.com. I'll have more information about this at the end of the video, but for now, let's actually dive in. So I'm gonna show you every single part of the system. So in case you wanna build it yourself, you can with what you see here as inspiration. So let's dig into this. The system contains two things, a job board for the candidates and an internal back office. The job board can be seen by the candidates, but only you can edit it. They apply with the form inside the job's descriptions. And there is also an internal back office where only your team can access. Of course, the candidates cannot see it. When a candidate applies to an offer from the job board, it appears automatically inside your back office. There are two tabs in the home page, the back office with all the positions and the application inbox. Let's start with the back office. All positions are divided in teams, tech, product, etc. And status in progress if the position is still open and done if you have hired someone. Let's see what is it inside a position. This is the summary of the position with everything related. Team, status, hiring manager in charge, it could be multiple one, the job description associated, the comments area for you and your team. On the left, the scorecard, so everyone understands the purpose of this open position, with outcomes and competencies. On the center, the board with your applicants. When someone applies, it lands in the first column. You can set the Slack integration to know in real time when someone has applied. It's really easy to set. All you have to do is choose the channel you want to connect to this page and that's it. Here, you can easily see if someone is here for a long time. A red light will show up after three days. To check the resume, hit this button. If it is a bad candidate, drag and drop to the archive column. If it is a good candidate, move it to the next step. Of course, you can customize the steps to match your own internal process. If a candidate is exceptional, you can tag it so your team gives her the attention she deserves. Now let's check inside the code of one candidate. The logic here is to have one page per application, and for each page to have all information about the candidate, email, cover letter, CV, notes and details from interviews. Every property here is automatically filled by the candidate when he applies, his email, his cover letter, the job ID to identify the position, his CV, the date when he applied, how long he has been in your process with a red light if it's over 3 days. If he has been tagged as top candidate, the rejection reason if necessary. And finally the step of his application. Below, the comment section so you can let specific messages to your team or ask for some comments with tags. Each time you tag someone, he or she will receive a notification on the top left of Notion. You can also set some reminder for you or someone of your team. It's very convenient to keep track of something like a call to make because a candidate is available at some point. It will also appear in the top left of Notion with a red symbol. Below, the flow of all interviews. Of course, it's fully customizable. To edit it, you need to go back and hit the little arrow next to the new button. Then, the three dots icons, then edit. Let's go back to Jonathan Goodwin application. As an example, I put a classic four steps flow with a quick call, two interview and a ref call. With this preset list of questions, anyone can be the interviewer. You can have a special list of questions for each position and in one click it will be set for the candidate. Let's dig into the first call. It starts with the logistic, the when, where and who, and below the list of questions, how you felt about the answers and the answers. I also added a large list of potential questions for inspiration. It's the top 150 questions that are recommended by hiring experts. Let's go back to the application page. Having all of the questions set here is very handy to stick to the same questions between your candidates so the comparison is fair. And just below, your decision about the next step. The next steps follow the same structure with 1. Logistic, 2. Questions and 3. Decision. 
This page can be very helpful if multiple persons are involved in the process. They can take a look at the previous steps and see quickly what has been said before and avoid asking the same things to the candidate. The last part of the page is called Candidate Portal. Candidate Portal is a new way to let your candidates know where they are in the process. They have everything needed to ace your interviews. And also you can give back time to your HR team as they will not have to contact them to know what's next. All you have to do is to send to your applicants the public link from here and update the page at the end of each interview. With this, your candidates will have a good experience during this stressful time and they will understand how thoughtful you are as a company. They will be able to see the purpose of each interview, the logistic, the person leading the interview so they can check her LinkedIn profile for example, and also prepare with whatever documentation you give to them. Inside each card, you can also let them know how you felt about the meeting so they can improve themselves for the next one. Let's go back to the home page and take a look at the application inbox. Here you can see your complete database of applications automatically updated when some candidate applies. For each application, you have all information about it here. Date, email, CV, source, etc. You can add any column that would be relevant for you as skills or programming language or expected salary, for example. Above the list, you can see the filters. It's a very handy way to navigate and find an old candidate to call back. You can add combined filters, for example, to find every top candidates coming from LinkedIn. And you can also create as many new filters as needed. The search bar is a powerful way to get to a very specific candidate by name, let's say Sylvie, or by any of the columns, let's say LinkedIn. You can manually add a candidate with a new button here. But you can also use the Chrome extension to add a candidate directly from his LinkedIn profile. Let's take a look at this candidate. If you open the Save to Notion free extension here, select the application database. You can clean the name here and select the candidate photo. And hit the clip button. It will add an item in your application inbox. Let's take a look at it. And here it is. Now let's see how the candidates can apply to your amazing company. Let's open the job board. So this is the public page that you can put as the hiring section of your company website. You can customize every bit of this page. Add or remove every section, values, reviews, pictures, videos, press links, etc. Of course, you should put the colors and logo of your company here. You can also change the cover page with a photo or some illustration from your design team. When you're done with the customization, you can share the board with the world with the share to web toggle from the top of the page. Let's see what a job description looks like. At the top, the location, team and job ID. Below the about us section, note that it has a red rectangle meaning that it is synchronized between all job descriptions. So if you need to change something, for example, the number of employees or the list of your customers, you can do it all at once from here. It will be changed instantly on the other descriptions. Below the job description, I have put a list of 750 job descriptions to help you write your own. And finally, the form to apply. Note that you can add more questions like phone number or LinkedIn profile to the hiring form easily. There is a tutorial to do so in the homepage. Let's apply to this offer very quickly with my name here, my email, my cover letter, my resume, and the job ID from the beginning of the page. Now I can hit the submit button. OK, let's see if the application has been received in the application inbox. Here it is, perfect. And now in the board of the engineering manager position from here. And here is my application. First, let's add the offer on the candidate side. Go to the job board and click on new. Set the location and team here. Remember the job ID, you'll need it after. The job description is instantly filled with the About Us section, the Role section and the Apply form. Cool, right? Let's go back to the Home page and click on New. Name the job. Fill the property above and add the Job ID filter. Then the digits corresponding to this offer. and save. That's how the two worlds, job board and back office communicate. 
You can have your offers in many job boards like LinkedIn or Welcome to the Jungle and easily plug your notion as a back office. It's very easy to set up and candidates experience is sweet. Let's see how it works for Welcome to the Jungle as it's very similar to other job boards. First, you'll have to ask your account manager from Welcome to the Jungle to activate the field redirect your candidates to an external applicant tracking system. Then get the public URL of the job descriptions and paste it into the field. So when a candidate sees your offer on an external website and hit the apply button, he or she is redirected to your application form. With this method you can have a very famous applicant tracking system and manage your hiring pipeline and talents pool in Notion. So that hopefully is a comprehensive overview of my entire hiring system here in Notion. Now, like I said at the beginning of this video, I've also turned this into a template. So if you want a complete done for you hiring system that you can just add to your workspace and start using, you can get it. It's called Hiring OS. You can get it over at hiringosnotion.com. You get more than just the template itself. You also get beginner's guides to get into the hiring world, 150 standard interview questions, 750 job descriptions to help you write your own, and support if you have questions. I have put a ton of effort into making it as comprehensive and as useful as possible. So once again, if you want to get a complete hiring system done for you in your Notion ready to use right away, go over to hiringosnotion.com. Thank you so much for watching, and I will be back very soon with a new video.